In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to Zoho Assist. Now, Zoho Assist is basically a software. It's a cloud software which allows you to help your customers with their customer support inquiries. This is generally used for IT problems and essentially it allows you to go ahead and control their PC to do tech support, that kind of thing. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually get a self, yourself a discount and a 14 day free trial on Zoho Assist, then use the link in the description click it and it should take you to this page here. So once you get to this page here, you want to go ahead and click on this button here that says Access Zoho Assist. And that's going to take you up to this page here. Now you can see there's a few different settings here. You've got Home, Service Queue, Contacts, Unattended Access, Report and Remote Support. So the first thing we want to do here is let's say we want to access someone's screen. What we would do is we would go ahead and put the customer's email in or we could just press start now. So if we press start now it's going to open up a new tab like this and it says starting support session please wait and essentially with this it's going to give you this which is the session ID and it's going to give you a link here. So you can copy this link and send it to your customer. You can also invite them via mail and SMS. This is the session ID here and the session will expire in 30 minutes. So what we can do is we can go onto a new tab we can paste that in here and by doing that, that's going to go ahead and give them or get them to join the session. And once they've joined the session, you can go ahead and actually control their system. So it will pop up on here and you'll be able to start controlling their system. Super easy to use. Now, over here, we also have the schedule button. So we can actually go ahead and schedule to the customer's email. We can either do a remote access or remote, yeah, remote access, or we can do share my screen. So it depends which one you want to do. So you can go ahead, set their email, their title, description, date, time, duration, uh, reminders here. So you can give them some you know, reminders coming up to it. You can even select the technician here, just like that. That's basically how you go about actually creating a session for screen sharing or, or um, remote screen access. You've got your history here, your sessions here, and you've got your favorites here. Now over here on the left-hand side, we have this queue. It says your customers can initiate remote support sessions anytime, anywhere, simply by raising a request in the service queue. So you can go ahead and configure this. And this is going to be like a customer portal. So first of all, it's going to ask us for the uh, portal URL. So I'm just going to put, um, you're going to be lowercase. I'm going to put Andy Guide. I'm going to save that. And that's going to be my portal name. So now authentication. Um, basically you're going to choose who can send requests. So unauthenticated means anyone with the link can put a request in and SAML authentication means only directory users can raise inbound requests. It's going to be easier for you to do this top one here as long as your link doesn't get leaked or anything like that. So you can go ahead and save that and then we can go ahead and enable the portal here and we can basically go ahead um, to the portal here and we can paste this in here and this is what clients are going to see. So, um, welcome to the client self-service portal. Raise a request and support technician will be assigned to you shortly. They put their name in, their company, email address and description. They'll submit it. And then they'll go ahead and be given, it will pop up in here for you to deal with basically. They can also instant join a session here as well if they want to. Now on the flip side, we can use this link here for technicians, this is the technician portal. Um, so it's going to be this page here basically, but you'll have to give the technicians access to this. Inside of here we also have some settings here, so we've got things like announcements, uh, we've got some uh, expiration times, that kind of thing, post session redirection, so where they get sent afterwards, and we have the customer widget here as well. So you can basically copy this HTML here, paste that into a embed section on your website, and it will look like this and it will allow people to basically connect to the session through your website. And this is what the support box looks like. So basically they'll get their session ID and they can just type it in here, press connect, and it just makes it integrated into your site basically. That's the only real benefit of it. Over here we have general, so we have just a load of general settings that you can kind of go through. Um, some of them, they're not really very important. We've got our email te templates here. So these templates are for things such as reminders. So we've got your session invite here. Um, 
we can go in here and we've got the default one here we can preview it and this is what the um, invite is going to look like here we can go ahead and create a new template here we'll put the name the subject and we can put the body in here we can do all these different templates for schedules rescheduling cancelling reminders you know all of that kind of stuff we also have our email configuration here so we can select who we want it to go from so it can be um, Zoho Assist, it can be the technician's email address, or it can be a custom email address. Now to do this, you have to go ahead, add your email in here, and then you have to go ahead and verify it. You've also got the reply to, so you can go technician's email address, or we can do the custom address as well. It's really up to you how you do it. We've got session recording as well. So this basically means that you can record the sessions, maybe for training purposes. You can record the sessions, and it's going to be uploaded to Zoho. Now you're going to have five gigabytes of storage, so it's not a huge amount but you can select which modules to be recorded so uh, remote support sessions screen set sharing sessions or unattended sessions forever and you can pick the screen recording quality so the lower it is the lower the file size is going to be now if the storage is full it's going to ask you do you want to delete older recordings or stop recording new sessions probably keep this one by default and then we have the multi-monitor remote session so if you're using two monitors it's only going to record the active monitor under your cursor or you can record multiple. I'd probably recommend doing this one just so you haven't got too much on your screen. You've got your credentials manager here so basically this allows you to create logins and passwords for your users and that kind of thing. And then we've got notification settings here so we can turn them on or off. We've got all of those. We've got organization here so we have our department. We can create a department. We have like all our branding here, so we can put our phone numbers, that kind of thing. We can do our custom domain in here. Very easy to do, put your domain in there, you verify the ownership and do some SSL certification installation. It's quite easy to do. Um, if you need a video on this, and I can go ahead and make an in-depth one of that. We've got a subscription here, so this is basically the payment details. As I said, if you use the link down below, you're going to get a discount on this all. And you're also going to get a free trial for 14 days, so it's well worth using the link. You can select a payment cycle, monthly or yearly. You can select the plan you need, the amount of technicians, uh, all that kind of stuff here. You can click upgrade and um, yeah, then you're going to be ready to go. You've also got the add-on, so the meeting add-on, um, which is there. We have offers here, so uh, write a review and you get a bit more time for free. And then you've got your billing details in here, pretty self-explanatory. We have our security stuff, so privacy settings, action logs, so you can see what actions have been done and by who and all that kind of stuff. And it'll also give you warnings and that kind of thing. You have multi-factor authentication, which means that uh, basically two steps, so people can't log in straight away. You have IP restrictions. Maybe you don't want a certain IP to be trying to jump onto your thing or you've noticed a bad IP trying to log in. You can block that. And you've got data cleanup here, pretty easy. Now lastly we have our integrations here, so we've got things like Freshdesk, we've got Jira, we've got all of these different things here, we've got a Zoho desk that you can integrate with, just makes your life a little bit easier, so maybe you've got your ticketing system, you want to integrate it with this so that you can help people with that, you can do that, and we've also got our API stuff here uh, and webhooks. So you can set all of that up, pretty simple to do, um, but that's basically how you use Zoho Assist. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And as I said, use the link down below. Um, you'll get the best discount and also it will give you a free trial 15 days. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.